Hi, my name's My Knife. It's been six years since I uploaded a YouTube video. Hi, My Knife. Knife. Loser. This is my second attempt to make this uh, episode. I did actually upload a version of this episode before, but after watching it, I realized that it was rubbish, and I'm sure the handful of you who actually got to watch it before I deleted it would agree on that. And uh, you guys have stuck with me long enough that you deserve better than that. So we're going to give it another shot here. Um, what I've got here is I'm playing uh, a new version of, well, newish version of Terra Firmacraft called TNG, which really does stand for the next generation. Um, so for those of you that don't, aren't familiar at all with Terra Firmacraft, it's a mod for Minecraft that was written by a fellow named Biox, uh, with a bit of help from uh, another guy named Dunkel Osteus. And uh, Biox retired from making any changes to uh, TFC a while ago. So a couple of projects started up to uh, keep it going, and Dunkel Osteus, who we call Dunk, he started a project of his own, which is called TFC Plus. And this one here was uh, another group of people who made TNG and what they did is they took Biox's last version that he that he made up and they ported it to Minecraft 1.12. Uh, after they got it ported they started adding a bunch of features and now they're trying to port it up to I can't remember if it's 1.16 or the upcoming 1.17 but so they're staying on top of it and they've added a lot of new features so for those of you who have played uh, TFC before I'm going to go through and look at a lot of the differences, and for those of you who haven't played TFC at all, I'll try to explain as much as I can remember to explain along the way. Okay. Let's see if I've got everything here I need. I guess if you really need a world. I'm back. More world options. Let's use that for the seed as well, so you guys can follow along at home if you want. If you do decide to uh, generate this at home, uh, please don't, in comments, say anything about stuff that I haven't seen yet. And I'll be turning allow cheats on simply because I'm recording this with OBS, and sometimes OBS screws up, and if I don't notice it in time, I won't be able to easily undo things inside the game unless I have cheats on. All right, let's create our world. See what happened where we end up. I guess the biggest thing about Terra Firmacraft, the biggest difference between it and uh, regular old Minecraft, is that uh, there's a lot more of a tech tree around mining ores and smelting them and, uh, and kind of working your way through the different ages that humankind went through. I'm picking up sticks here because I'm going to need some. These are all just sticks lying on the ground here. This is uh, gravel. I mean, should look the same as gravel in regular Minecraft. You will notice there will be different colors of dirt, though. Well, actually, the gravel does change color to it, and the sand. So there's all these different rock types. Uh, you have some of them in regular Minecraft as well. But uh, well, I was going to say there's quite a few more of them in... TFC, but I'm actually not so sure that's still true anymore, because they keep adding stuff in regular Minecraft. But anyway, so in TFC, each type of rock has associated with it its own gravel and its own sand. And functionally, they're, they're all the same. Some of the rocks have special power or special abilities, or special uses, I guess I should say. Uh, how do I get up out of here? Uh, that might do it. There we go. Yeah, these are stones. What kind of stone do we have? And a site. Okay. Well, it's a rock. Grab a few more. You just pluck them off the ground like this. Just click on them. Or right click? Yeah, right click. Ah. Now this little green thing, this bright green thing, 
which doesn't really look like any kind of a flower or anything. That'll be a crop of some kind. I'm not really sure what, but let's uh, record it. Um, what I'm using here, I've got a couple of other mods in. This belongs to Zeros' world map, this waypoint stuff. So I can define waypoint sets. So I'll define one called crops. And I'll add a new entry. Let's make crops green. And I have no idea what it is. And the other one you can see in the upper left is uh, Zeros's mini map. And uh, the two mods work together. So you can see that the, uh, the waypoint that I just added shows up on the mini map as well. Okay. See this here, I don't know what this is. This might be just a flower or there's some of the crops look a lot like this. Like there's potatoes early on when they're growing, they look a lot like this and there's some others as well. So I'm not sure. Now, uh, let's go back to this crop over here just for a second. Now I could dig this up right now and I'd get some seeds, which I can then plant later on and grow. Uh, but I'm going to need food. Food and water are the first two things that I have to get my hands on or I have to secure a supply of. So what I'm going to do is let this mature and then I'll be able to harvest the, the, uh, uh, the fruit or the, you know, the, whatever the food stuff is that this crop gives. And after I've harvested it, then I'll dig it up and get the seeds. So I get both the food and the seeds that way. Um, oh, there's more of it up here. Oh, okay, I can tell what it is now by this one. This is um, a pepper. I don't know if it's yellow pepper or red pepper. That's one of the two. So we can edit this now. Okay, so one of the many new things you can do in TFC is uh, you can nap stone early on to make your stone tools. So you just take, you have to have at least two stone in your hand and you right click them. And then here, this is a five by five grid and you just cut pieces up, chip, you're basically napping, flaking bits off as it were. And that's the pattern for a axe head. And I'm gonna need more than one, so let's make it. What else am I gonna need? I'll probably need a couple of shovels too. So let's do those. Uh, shovel. And the other thing, I'll need some knives. So there's actually room on a single uh, rock to nap out two knives. But I don't know why you would want to, but you this pattern you can see on the right or the one on the left, either one of those by itself would give you a single knife. But this way you get two for the price of one, so it's better. All right. And let's add some handles to those. That's what the sticks are for. All right, let's get that out of my hot bar. Whoops, wrong way around. Oh, and the other thing I should make, um, so in, I'll refer to it as old TFC. That sound is probably some dirt falling down. Yeah, you can see it, something just fell down over here. Uh, in TFC, 
dirt blocks obey gravity. Let's see if I can show you how that works. Okay. So, you know, just as normal, I can throw a dirt block there, but if I try and put one on top of it, it'll fall off. Let me grab a couple more. It's only if the space you're putting it on already has blocks on all four sides of it, then you can stack something up. So you can see if you're trying to uh, pillar up with dirt, you can't do a pillar anymore, it's going to be a cone. And after the first couple of levels, you're into exorbitant amounts of uh, dirt. Um, so another thing is in old TFC, there were the usual um, what do you call them? Uh, hostile mobs, you know, these skeletons, spiders, and zombies, and whatnot. So those still exist, but now they only show up, um, I believe, below level 120, which is below, s below sea level. So normally you won't run into them in the overworld. Right, meaning up here, out here. Uh, however, it is possible that they'll spawn in a cave below level 20, and if the cave has an entrance onto the overworld, then they could wander out. But still, it's not very likely. Oh, I should point out, I don't think I said, is that, I th think I didn't say it quite right, is... In the old TFC, you had those mobs, and they worked the normal way they do in regular Minecraft, meaning that they would come out at night and spawn in the overworld. In this new TNG version, they only spawn below uh, level 120. So that would normally make running around topside day and night pretty safe, except there are other predators, non-fantastical ones. Now, in the old... TFC, the only one of those there was was the bear who would attack without without provocation. Um, there were wolves, but as long as you didn't attack them, they wouldn't attack you. But now there have been added to that some big cats like saber-toothed tigers and lions. Oh, and I saw a puma or a jaguar as well once. And there are also hyenas. And those all just view you as a free lunch they will attack you without provocation and they usually travel in numbers so you might you might be able to pick them off one at a time but you're gonna have to be pretty careful to be able to get them one at a time so that's the main thing I'll be watching out for here that I'm going to be cautious about is that I don't run into what that is over there. Oh, it's a deer. <laughs> it's a deer trapped over there. This thing is running around here going blick blick is a uh, um, what are these? Pheasants, I think. Yeah, I think they're pheasants. I don't think they breed. I don't think they're breedable, but you can kill them and eat them. Um... So yeah, so I first two priorities for us. Just let me see if there's an easy way down. Um, okay, first two priorities for us are water and food, and water is going to run out fastest. You can already see. Um, down just above my hot bar on the right, there are, there's a, there are two bars, one green, that's basically your food bar, how full you are, that's barely, barely changed since we started. The one below it is your thirst bar, and you can see that mine has dropped quite a bit just 
since we started. And so you go to water, put your empty hand over it and right click to drink. Hmm, I didn't get sick, therefore this must be fresh water. Oh, no, I just got sick. Okay, it's not fresh water. <laughs> Yeah, so this is salt water, which I would have guessed because it's the ocean, but sometimes you get lucky and you get uh, fresh water along the coast of an ocean. Not so lucky this time. So I need to go inland and find myself some fresh water. And the other priority is, of course, food, which is why I'm keeping an eye out for crops. Sometimes, uh, I, well, I shouldn't say something. Quite frequently, when you you'll f crops will be clustered, and one or two of them will actually be mature. So as soon as you come to them, you'll be able to, you know, pick some food off them that you can eat. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. What's this over here? Oh, that's a hyena. Yeah, that's exactly what we don't want to run into. Did I lose him? Nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to have some hyena meat for supper. <laughs> this is by far the safest way to kill all these predators. Is lure them out into the water. Or at least it's the best way i found so far. Huh. There's a cave with a zombie down there somewhere. I ain't going there. And I still desperately need water. So let's come around here, see if I can sidestep those hyenas. Did I get the meat? Oh, I didn't get the meat? Um, well, my food bar is okay right now. It's more important that I find water. deadly around speak up if you want to kill me speak up oh there's something uh, this is a berry bush uh, another thing specific to TFC and it's blackberries that's nice uh, so I'm looking for ponds or lakes or even very sp kind of tight bays because they'll frequently be fresh water as well oh found something else though so this is a, a copper nugget and it indicates that somewhere below here there's copper ore but we can actually look over here and we can see some copper ore right in the wall there that will be very useful soon as soon as I can eat and drink, it'll be useful. <laughs> All right. I uh, need to create another waypoint set for that. Let's call them oars. Not like the ones you put in a boat. Gold. And gold is the color I like to use for oars. Okay. So we know, oh, I should have mentioned that it's mineable. Let me uh, get back to that. Okay. So that's a very nice find, but I still need water. <laughs> and I get 
get to crawl around here very cautiously. Be very, very quiet. You are hunting water. Well, can't even see anything on the mini map. What's that? Nope. Deep pit. Don't want to go down there. Oh, it's just more coastline. Now, this is not going well. At this rate, I'm going to be forced back if over to the uh, hyenas. Because where there's one, you can be sure there's others. No water down there. It's not deep enough. Well, let's take to the high ground and see if we can see anything. Uh, I should have marked my spawn point too. It's not, it's not that important, but just useful to know. Yeah, so nothing. I might have to swim to another uh, landmass. Oh, well, that'll be a problem. Oh well, if I die of thirst, you people will never even know what happened. The power of the delete button. Okay, I'm just going to have to try and get by the hyenas, I guess. Actually, I guess I could swim around them. Yeah. Oh, there's a fruit tree over here. No fruit on it yet, though. But you can see it's flowering. Don't know what kind it is, but let's uh, mark it for future interest. And I usually make the fruit trees red so they stand out. kill all kinds of things to assuage my hunger. Well, there's deer over there and the wolves aren't trying to kill it. They must be well satiated. What's this over here? Another wolf? Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, let's see what's on the other side of this island, or continent, whatever this is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, well, it's cut off from everything else, so it might be fresh. Let's double check. It might be fresh. If it isn't though, it'll, if you drink salt water, it actually, it doesn't just make you sick for a while, but also takes away some of your thirst bar. And I don't see any lily pads growing in it. That would be assurance that it was fresh. So I'm going to give it a pass. Uh, now I have no choice but to swim around. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, for those of you that played TFC before, um, if you try it out, let me know in comments. It seems to me that the water bar is going down faster than it used to in the old TFC. I mean, it was always, you know, something you had to be careful about, but this seems even faster than usual. Okay, so this is bigger than... So this is bigger than just a uh, island. Ooh, bismuth. Uh, one of the annoying things about this uh, world map uh, waypoint interface is there's, here let me cancel here, there's just one button for both add and edit. So sometimes when you come up one of the old entries, one of the existing entries is already highlighted. So if you click on it you end up editing it. So you have to click on it once and then cancel out and then you can click on it again to add a new one. So. Is Mythonite. Okay. I can see there's some clay over there that will be of interest eventually. But right now I am desperately now in need of water. Oh, looks like a horse up there. I don't generally do much with horses. I mean, occasionally I use them for food. Or to get their hides. That was a goat. Oh, so maybe that wasn't a horse. It was probably a goat. Oh, come on. All I see are mountains and trees. You can see how slow I'm moving. Once your water level gets down to a certain point. All right, let's see what we've got as a map so far. Well, I guess I can head over here. I think that's just a ravine. I don't think that's going to be water, but we can at least take a look. Now, let's just go northwest. Just head northwest. That's where the unexplored areas are. <coughs> and I should make note. Time for a new category. Survey says um, animals. Uh, let's make animals dark aqua. Sounds good. And I want to go northwest. At a snail's pace. Oh, well, if anything comes after me, now I'm dead. Yeah, see here, this is a tomato plant. Uh, the tomatoes are much brighter red when it's ripe, so this still isn't right here, but... Well, actually, if I die, I'll get my water bar back, and uh, I'll have all these waypoints set for where stuff is. So maybe I should just uh, be happy to die of thirst. Okay, northwest. Oh, big trees, big trees. <laughs> Except for this guy. <laughs> uh, that's the Tyrion Lannister of the big tree family. Yeah, see, th these things here really annoy me. So this is some kind of flower. I don't know what kind. Uh, and it used to be in old TFC, just about the only things that were bright green were crops. Why am I ending up the wrong place here? Oh, I got to go more north, less west. Okay. So about the only thing were crops that were the bright green. So you could, you know, climb up on a mountain and gaze lovingly out over the landscape and 
look for flecks of bright green. It wasn't always. There was a couple of things. I don't really remember what they were. I think they're oh the um, one of the one of the flowers. But for the most part, that was how you found. But now there's all these other plants that I mean, you can use them, I guess, for dyes and stuff like that. But you can't eat them. And they all have bright green on them, so now it's much harder. And I also think they reduce the spawn rate. Oh, yeah, and I'm starting to take thirst damage. It won't be long now. Whoops, I don't want to go this way. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I think uh, they also don't spawn as frequently. Oh great, I don't want to be in here. Oh, more bismuth. Just what a man dying of thirst wants. And another fruit tree even. I'm not even going to stop and uh, flag it because I am really running out of time here. Come on. Nope. Don't see no lily pads there. Oh, uh, this does not look good. Oh, there's lily pads at the far end of the island. I think I will be dead long before I get there, but I want to go southwest and then west. There we go, southwest and then west. There we go. Respawn. Well, at least now I get to mark my spawn point. Okay, insert. Uh, for that, we'll just use the default. Spawn. All right, let's look at the big map. I want to go there. I'm going to swim it. Swim across to there. Come around. Swim across to there. Yep. So this may get a little boring. Uh, that's west, right? If so, then I'll either uh, time lapse it or just cut it out and do a fade or something like that. We'll see. Oh! But this is a fine opportunity for me to say what I've been doing the last six years when you guys, or at least some of you, have been waiting, waiting for more TFCs. So, I believe I mentioned it in some of my... Oh yeah, I need some stuff again. In some of my previous videos from way back when that I suffer from depression. Hang on a second here. Check my direction again. I think I can just run the coast. No, let's not. Yeah, let's just swim for it. So, the depression got worse. And the net result was, is I was, it was taking me longer and longer to complete my work. And, uh, so... They basically, they laid me off. Well, I don't know about the basically, they just laid me off. And so I had to uh, stop making videos and spend as much time as I could trying to find another way to make an income, which I did. I found a new job and with, uh, with a fellow who was much more, um, I'll say accommodating, but sympathetic, that's the word, and understanding towards the depression. And so he gave me much looser deadlines and schedules that I could get by on. And I've worked for him since then. Um, but the thing is, of course, is it takes me a long time 
Well, it might take me three days to do what for anyone else would be just one day of work. So I haven't had much time for, uh, for doing videos. I mean, I can still play the games, but the videos take quite a bit of time to edit and all that in their own right. I want to go mostly north. There we go. Hi, Wolfie. And so I just couldn't get the time for it. Couldn't make the time for it, let's put it that way. And so now, in part due to the COVID thing, but uh, also my boss is slowing down. Um, there hasn't been nearly as much work. And that has provided me with an opportunity to do some videos again, which is nice. Because I, I really do enjoy it. Occasionally it's frustrating, but for the most part it's enjoyable. Especially the other nice thing about it is that after all this time, uh, the tools that I use, because I run, I run Linux, so the tools I use on Linux have gotten much better. Uh, here's, this is Barley. Let's record that. Oh, this is, yes, see, I can drink this. <laughs> All right, now this may be home then. Uh, let's just have a quick look on the map. Let's see. What I'm looking for, well, I'm looking for fresh water, which I've found, and some flat area right next to the, water where that I can farm. So I like this area here. Whack down all these trees. A fairly self-contained uh, area. Yeah, lots of room here. Okay, especially once I take these. Okay, this is home. So let's mark it. Okay, and I th think that's going to be it for the first episode. Nothing terribly exciting, but I wasn't expecting to have to go that far just to find water. But we do have, we have found a, a nice home spot. <laughs> it's much better than the one in my first attempt, which is on the side of a mountain. <laughs> and I guess I need to make some more tools and stop ch start chopping stuff down and clearing the land. Okay, I hope to see you back for the next episode. Bye.